Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another severe weather update. So we have a large area under a slight risk for severe weather across portions of east central, east to northeast Texas, far southeastern Oklahoma, southwest Arkansas, and western northwestern Louisiana for this afternoon, and a marginal risk surrounding that in the dark green. And we do have a tornado threat this afternoon with a 2% chance of tornadoes touching down within 25 miles of your location if you live in these green areas, and a 5% chance if you live in these brown areas. And the 5% chance includes areas like Dallas, Fort Worth, Nacogdoches, and Bryan College Station. Now taking a look at the damaging wind threat for today, there's a 15% chance that you'll see damaging straight line winds of 58 miles per hour or stronger within 25 miles of your location if you live in the slight risk area today, 5% chance if you live in the marginal risk area, and hail, now hail is going to be the biggest concern today, where we have a 15% chance of seeing quarter size hail or larger in the yellow, but in this black hatched region, there is a 10% chance that you could see hail of tennis balls or larger if you live in the black hatched region. And hail is really going to be the primary threat this afternoon across areas like Dallas, just east of Waco and then just north of College Station. Now taking a look at how this uh, hail event could unfold uh, by about 6 p.m. this evening, Central Time, 5 p.m., we could see some supercells begin to initiate across uh, just west of I-35, west of Waco, and the HRRR is blowing up a supercell just south of Dallas near Hillsboro and a couple, couple other cells near Nacogdoches and one south of Bryan College Station. And as we head through the afternoon into 6 p.m., the, uh, uh, the radar just explodes with these supercells all across the DFW area, uh, all the way down towards Waco. And by 7 p.m., most of north central Texas is seeing uh, likely some hail maybe now some damaging winds as these storms begin to linearize. And then we have these cells ahead of it across east central Texas likely producing hail by about 7 p.m. this evening. And as we head into 8 p.m., we could see a nasty line of showers and thunderstorms move across northeast Texas, bow echoes indicating uh, very strong areas of damaging winds and then cells ahead of it could be producing tornadoes and hail near Nacogdoches. And we see another area of showers and thunderstorms develop again between Austin and College Station by about 8 p.m. tonight, 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. It turns into a big QLCS and moves across uh, the, re the rest of east northeast Texas into Arkansas and Louisiana. And overnight, the squall line is going to push across Louisiana, probably bringing damaging winds all across these areas. So unfortunately, it doesn't end tonight. Uh, we do have a lower risk of severe weather, both tomorrow and Wednesday. And tomorrow, we have a marginal risk across the Gulf Coast and most of Florida. And the day after tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, we have a again, a marginal risk across central and southern Florida. So severe weather is going to be, uh, severe weather season is ramping up, you guys. So make sure to prepare for tornadoes, damaging winds, and especially hail tonight, this evening and tonight, if you live in north central or, nor or northeast Texas. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful evening, my friends.